Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for uh, July 2023. We're going to jump right in here, Aquarius, and see what is going on for you. You have this openness and success card. So, you know, clearly there could be success coming in for you here. Um, I also like don't be afraid to do something unique or different. You know, it's kind of weird. I get this like skeptical feeling here. So it's if you're, you know, <laughs> some of you, it's like, it's, I just want to say like you're getting, I feel like you're getting ideas from maybe other people, right? Or, um, you know, it could be YouTube as well. You, you know, I learn a lot on YouTube. I think it's a great place to, to learn. Um, and I feel like you're skeptical maybe because, um, things haven't worked or you've done things in the past that other people have taught you and the things they've taught you haven't worked. But um, I kind of feel like you could be getting some ideas that are actually going to lead to a lot of success. And it could come from people um, where you're just like a little bit skeptical. That's the best way I would put it. Um, and so I feel the best solution here is going to be the justice card. Um, and justice is, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I tell everyone that justice is the answer to the rest of your life because um, we are in a time for forever. I mean, unless you live for like 200 freaking years or something like that, um, which that could happen. But <laughs> what I would say is, you know, we're in a time where we, the universe, I believe, really wants us to pay attention to equal give and take. And I mean, like, are you kidding? You literally go to the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles says, like, invest a little bit into any new situations that come your way. Um, don't overgive in anything, not just love, but also business, money, and, you know, everything else. And uh, see what works and get rid of the rest, right? It's just that simple. So, you know, I feel like a lot of you need to do that. Um, but again, I also feel that if you're feeling skeptical of some sort of idea that you should be open to it, but also, you know, just give it a little bit of time, you know, give it a little, a little bit of effort and see what happens. I specifically feel that this is tied to your abundance as well. So, you know, this could be like an investment. It could be a business idea, a new job that you want to get, whatever. Um, I just would make sure that you're not overgiving and just give a little bit. I also feel for some of you, uh, this could be a settlement coming this way. So, you know, if you're like waiting for a settlement in like court, um, but I'm also getting, this could be like an insurance payout or something like that. Like maybe you were like rear-ended or something. I, I have that popping to my head. Um, and so I feel like you're kind of, uh, this could be like a settlement or a payout is what I'm trying to say. Uh, next, you have the magician. Um, I feel you really need to be careful of your vibrations, right? <laughs> I, I feel like you really need to make sure, like I feel like there are going to be um, consequences, positive and negative to like to the things um, you know, to just things that ha that you feel in your life. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's like, um, you know, the, like I'll just give you an example. Like I've, this has been happening to me a lot. Like I, I had this crazy allergic reaction back in, I think it was like February or March. I can't remember when that was, but um, you know, some of you saw it, right? I posted the picture of it. And, um, but that day that that happened, I was like kind of like in a mood and I was kind of like being super negative, right? And so like sometimes I think we can manifest, um, you know, like allergic reactions <laughs> and things like that, right? So I've been super careful to, um, you know, I've been super careful to make sure that I'm being positive, uh, that I'm not getting carried away with, like with anger or anything like that. I always tell people it's perfectly acceptable to feel angry about things. It's perfectly acceptable to have negative emotion. I believe we have negative emotions for a reason. I, I don't like when people are like, oh, just be like super positive and not angry at anyone because <laughs> that's impossible. It's literally impossible, right? And so I think we should have the emotion, of course, but I think it's like what you do with that emotion that matters. So it's like, instead of just sitting there and like I did on that day that I had that allergic reaction, just sitting there being angry for no reason. It's like, you know, I could have put that energy into something or I could have just focused on transmuting the energy, just being like, well, you know, what happened happened and now it's time to move on, right? So, you know, I kind of feel that energy with this magician card to like, make sure that you're just not, make sure you're watching your emotional states and things like that. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Clearly there's a ton of abundance available to you. We go this way, you go to that Four Cups and it's gonna be interesting to see like what that Four of Cups turn, like what it gets clarified by. Uh, so, you know, it, but I kind of feel like the abundance is available to you is what I feel like saying. I feel like there are some things that you need to do. Number one, I'll, I will say with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you need to focus on the right things to increase your abundance. So make sure you're not getting distracted by anger or, you know, things that are going on in your life that don't matter or whatever, like drama of other people or, you know, whatever the case may be. I also feel like working on your environment would be a good idea as well because, there's this snail right here if it wants to focus right above my finger. 
and there's that snail. Snails wear their homes on their back. So the nine of pentacles can represent like focusing on your environment. I literally, and you air signs get this all the time. I literally last year did environment readings um, because of Libra, but you know, you are an air sign. And so I feel like there is something here about like needing to, you know, clean up the space around you. Uh, with the justice card, you have the eight of wands, quick success coming in for you. I also feel it, it could just be news that you're getting that you could be getting like an approval or something like that. Uh, with the Magician, you have the Knight of Cups. You could be attracting love. I don't really necessarily feel this is a love reading. It could be. Uh, we'll see what happens. You do have the Four of Wands at the end. So, you know, again, we're going to clarify the whole reading. And the Knight of Cups could be like a knight in shining armor that's coming in for you. But the Knight of Cups is also a dream. And the Magician, he is pointing to the Hierophant. And what I feel is that the Hierophant is the bridge between the heavens and the earth. He commu he communicates with both sides. And so I feel like you have a dream that you need to bring down to earth. I say this to you in every single reading, but it literally shows up in the reading right here. <laughs> with the Nine of uh, Pentacles, you have the Six of Swords, uh, some sort of improvement coming in here. I also feel like you need to move on from something, something that's been holding you back. I feel for a lot of you, there could be something in your life that you know is kind of preventing your success, but um, maybe you're still not making the change. Like, uh, I don't really have a good example other than like years ago, I, I was stuck for years. I always tell a story and you know, for four years, I literally did like nothing. But I also at the time, like I would like play video games like all day because I had nothing else to do. And so, um, you know, like one of the things that I did, I didn't do it like during that time, but after that time, I real I realized that video games w take up way too much time. <laughs> so I completely limit, I just completely cut it out, right? And it, I became immediately like significantly more productive, right? And so, you know, I kind of feel like this is saying there might be maybe some habits or behaviors or things that you're doing that you need to remove from your life because it might just make you more productive or something like that. Uh, next, you have this uh, in the area of what you don't see coming. You have this card that says, realize you have all the qualities to be a leader. You also have this card that says, if you need to break the rules, do it with conviction to make a difference. Yes, I am a big fan of breaking the rules right now, especially with the Hierophant. Hierophant can represent inside the box thinking. So obviously thinking outside the box would be a good idea. The, uh, it would also represent, you know, for a lot of us, I, I think that there could be certain rules that we think exist that don't exist. And, you know, it's like, it, you're not really breaking a rule here. It's like, I, I just think that there are certain boundaries that you need to think outside of. Like, I'll just give you an example. Like someone blew my mind recently because it's like, um, you know, I've been learning a lot about YouTube and working in a new group about with YouTube and stuff. And in this group, there's a person who does like two hour long videos, blows my mind because it's like, and they are very successful on YouTube. It blows my mind because like the rule on YouTube is to do like 12 minutes or 16 minutes or 20 minutes, whatever it is, right? But this person to like smashes that rule, totally destroys it <laughs> and does extremely well. So, you know, it's like, you know, I think that we all have these rules sometimes inside of us that don't really exist. And being part of being that person is clearly a leader because they are doing things on their own terms. They're doing things that they want to do. They don't, and you know, they don't care what anyone thinks. They don't care about what the rules are. They do what they do, you know? And I kind of get that feeling. I'm telling you this because I kind of feel like that's what you're doing here is that maybe you need to put something to rest with the Ten of Swords. Maybe you are that person for someone else, right? Um, you know, I always say Pluto going into Aquarius, you know, towards, you know, at the end of the year, basically at the beginning of next year. Uh, you know, I think your job as an Aquarius is to be an inspiration to other people. Again, that person, it's, it totally inspired me, right? I'm not saying I'm going to do, I'm not saying I'm going to start doing two hour videos, but totally inspired me to look for other ways of doing things, right? And to just be open-minded about it, you know? And so I kind of feel that here where it's like, you need to put something to rest that you think is a rule in your life. And I feel like you've already been thinking about whatever it is. You have the Empress, doesn't matter what gender you are. I feel like you could be getting a lot of attention at this time. I really feel like you're standing out, um, you know, just getting attention. So if you want love, put yourself out there, of course. If you want to get a raise or a promotion, make sure you're doing things to get like the right type of attention in work or your career. And I feel like it will it could lead to a raise or a promotion or like more money. Uh, you have the Hierophant as well. Again, I, I really feel that needing to bring something down to earth. Again, he communicates with the other side in, or the universe, whatever you want to call it. And so I feel for a lot of you, it's like you need to bring something uh, like down to earth, uh, plain and simple. 
Uh, let's see where this is going for you. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, you have the Seven of Swords. I would be, you know, if you've dealt with a liar, cheater, stealer going this way, some of you could be going through a divorce right here, you know, and I feel like you're recovering from it. Some of you might be worried that you're never going to find someone again in the future. And again, you have the Four of Wands literally in your kind of like future position. I go, you know, past future. I use what I call a loose spread. It's not really, you know, it's not really a spread, but I just go past to future uh, all the way over. So again, I, I would say let go of those fears, but definitely don't settle for like a person who's cheating if that's what you're doing. With the Empress, you have two cards. You have the Nine of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. I literally said that, you know, Three of Pentacles is my card of getting as much attention as you possibly can, like especially in work or business, because it is a card of quality work. And it says if you get attention, then you could get a raise or promotion. I also feel like you need to keep, like if you are working on something, I, I would like focus on the quality. I would also make sure that you're focusing on the right, the, you know, kind of like the right quality or, you know, something that matters. I think, you know, just using YouTube as an example, I think people think like, oh, video matters, right? The, how the video looks matters. Really, it doesn't. You know, the most important thing that's been like scientifically proven for YouTube is audio. So it's like having good audio is actually much more important than, uh, you know, having good video on YouTube. So, you know, what I would say here is it's like, you know, is there something in your life where, um, you know, where maybe something very, you know, very insignificant or whatever would provide more leverage. Like I kind of feel this is a, one of those readings that's talking about leverage. And, you know, for just for example, like on YouTube, you can actually get very good audio for like under a hundred bucks, right? You can, there are, th microphones are like a freaking amazing nowadays. And there are like cheap ones that do really, really well. So, you know, again, it's like one of those things where a small investment could lead to a big result, right? And um, the, again, the reason I'm talking about this is because I feel like there's something in your life, like it, it could be in work or business where a very small investment, it doesn't even have to be a financial investment I'm getting, it could just be an investment of time. Like maybe there's like a course being offered or maybe there's a training or certification that you could get. I would be looking at those things. I mean, there's a million things running around popping into my head. So you're gonna have to put your thinking cap on, but. And, you know, if you get an opportunity or, you know, if you're thinking about making some sort of improvement in your business or your career, or if you have a YouTube channel, your YouTube channel, I would do it because I think it's going to pay off big time. Uh, with the Hierophant, you do have the tower here. This is like a shock to reality. Again, it's kind of like, again, seeing the, uh, the two hour video thing. Again, I feel like you're having some sort of, you know, shock to the system, but it's not a bad thing. Look, there's even a lightning bolt right here on this card. So, you know, I don't always think that the tower is a bad card. I don't look at tarot as good or bad. To me, it, it just is. It's part of life. We will always experience tower moments. It's impossible not to avoid a tower moment. I also feel like you want to have tower moments. <laughs> the whole point of the tower is that the people inside the tower are being brought back down to reality. They have been ignoring reality. I rather see the truth, no matter how uncomfortable it is. I, I think that, you know, people who say ignorance is bliss, I think ignorance is just ignorance, plain and simple. I rather see the truth of a matter, no matter how uncomfortable it is, right? And so I feel like this, that's what that's basically saying. Uh, next in the area of um, what's coming towards you, you have this mountain card, it says challenges, achievements. You have this triangle, it says choices, indecision. Typical Aquarius indecision, right? <laughs> Not calling you out, but totally calling you out. So, you know, I would uh, make a choice here. I feel like picking the new path is always like the best choice. And, you know, I kind of feel like some of you are working on facing your fears. I actually feel pretty good about this. It's like maybe you realize that you do have a hard time making decisions sometimes. Like, again, I'm an Aquarius rising and I'm a Gemini moon. And, you know, it's like I, I and I'm a Pisces. It's like, that is like the holy trifecta of overthinking, right? And so what I would say here is that, you know, I totally get it, but you know, I overthink things to death, but you know, I just started to have to, you know, it's like, I, I wish there was some sort of, you know, easy button magical sauce that I could give you that would, that would tell you like what I did to stop doing it. But I just literally just had to beat it into my head that, you know, when I came up with an idea, I just had to try it and see where it would go. If I wanted to make some sort of change in my business, I just had to stop thinking about it and just do it and not think that I know everything and I just had to do it, right? And, um, you know, that, that's like, that's how I changed it. That's how I fixed it. But again, I, I always think picking the new path, if you're trying to make a choice between two things, whatever it is, I think the two, um, you know, making, you know, picking the new path is the right way or the right direction. I also feel like maybe with this mountain card, picking the challenging choice, the one that will lead to growth is the thing 
that will be the right choice. Sometimes I think we make the easy choice and that's like never the right choice because we are meant to grow. I think that moving towards growth is always the right choice. And I think the universe wants that for us. I think the universe never wants us to go backwards. That's why, you know, I always encourage people not to go back to exes. And because, you know, I think that, you know, is it always true? Someone always tells me some story about their grandparents who like met on the Titanic and then magically, uh, you know, they both survived and they broke up and then they came back together. I'm like freaking great, but that doesn't usually happen. So your grandparents are the exception, not the rule. And what I would say here is like, for the most part, I feel like you need to try new things. The Four of Cups is about past disappointments. And <laughs> I feel like you need to start focusing on future disappointments. Not really. I feel like you need to start focusing on future possibility and stop thinking about how things from the past didn't work out. I'm not even talking about just love. You know, this could be like business ideas that didn't work out, um, you know, plans for your health or plans to like move or travel or whatever. I think you need to start focusing forward. The Four of Swords is a card of recovery. And I feel like this is saying that you're about to be in a period of time where there are going to be blessings that come in for you. You know, there's a person who's blessing another person right here in this stained glass window. So I kind of feel like there are blessings coming in for you. You have the Six of Pentacles, again, focusing focusing forward. Six of Pentacles to me is a card of planting seeds. And it just says, you need to like try new things, try a little bit and then keep moving forward. I, again, everybody gets this. It is kind of re repetitive. People always say, you, you always repeat yourself. I'm like, yeah, but the freaking card is right here. Like you want me to make something up so I don't repeat myself? I don't think so. So it's like, it is what it is. It's what we need to do right now is kind of, um, you know, try little new things just a little bit, see where it goes. If it changes your life, great. Keep, keep moving in that direction. If it doesn't, try something else. With the four of cups, you have the four of wands. Yeah, some of you could have, you definitely had a love disappointment. And again, I, I get for some of you that you're fearing that you're never gonna find a person again. But again, that is not true. You, of course, you will find another person. And I do feel that there could be marriage coming in for you in the future. Uh, it could be this person right here. There could be already a, per a new person in your life. Uh, four of swords, what do you know? It would not be an Aquarius reading if it, if I did not have the seven of cups. So, <laughs> you know, definitely, I feel like you need to bring something down to earth. It's funny that, you know, again, I said on the Hierophant that he's a bridge between the heavens and the earth. The people from the tower, they are falling down to earth. In the seven of cups, I always say you have to grab one of those cups and bring it down to earth. So, you know, there you go. With the four of pentacles, you have the uh, wheel of fortune. Yeah, Six of Pentacles energy will change your life. So, and it, again, it's totally changed my life. I always talk about the 1% improvements that I that I started making like four years ago now, something like that. I don't know, my life seems to be stuck in four year cycles, something like that. But <laughs> what I would say is like every every four years, I, I get, uh, I, I like, I'm like not stupid. I have like a moment of clarity and then I figure something out and then I get stupid again, right? But what I would say here is that, um, you know, again, I feel like there's like some sort of moment of clarity that could be coming in for you that's, is something that you work on, like a project, business, whatever, and um, it's gonna lead to a change in your fortunes. Uh, at the end here for messages from your future self, you have this mending card and this observer card. Mm, yeah, if you, like I feel like you need to heal something for some of you. Some of you could just be looking at something that you feel like needs to be healed. And I feel like this is just saying, well, heal it. Don't just let it fester, like whatever this issue is in your life. And I feel like your future self is saying, if something needs to be healed in your life, just do it. And you know, get it over and done with, whatever it is. Like, you know, you could be apologizing to a person, they could be apologizing to you. Um, it could be something about your health. It could be anything that you're looking at. Uh, I feel like it's different for all of you, but um, whatever it is, I would just like face it. You know, I kind of feel like there is a need to like, you know, close something out because you have the Queen of Swords here, which could be your energy. She has her back to the past and she's open to receive the future. So again, the whole entire reading, you know, the kind of like the overarching message here of the reading is that you need to focus on the new, pick the new path, right? And she's clear about that for the first time. So I do feel like you're gaining clarity. I feel like your future self is encouraging you to take control, the wheel of fortune. You know, the wheel of fortune is always spinning, it, it, whether we control it or not. <laughs> and trust me, you want to be controlling it. Uh, how we control the wheel of fortune is we pay attention to cycles that are repeating in our life. That's when you are at the center of the wheel is when you actually pay attention to the things that are repeating in your life and you say, I need to change this. And then you do something different, right? It's just that simple. I don't know, you know, I think it's school or something that, I don't know, prevents people from trying new things, but like literally, you know, my I'm starting my whole new channel. It's gonna be all about trying new things because that's what's changed my life. And I think it'll change your life too. So there you go. But you have the uh, four of wands here. I do feel like some of you, this could be marriage, but for others, I kind of feel that the universe is giving you some accomplishments. You know, the four of wands is like a finish line, but it can also represent, you know, kind of completing something in your life or having an accomplishment. And, 
in a lot of ways, I feel that there could be accomplishments coming in for you that motivate you. I also feel, you know, the four wands, the card of freedom. So you could be setting yourself free here and uh, setting yourself free is going to lead to success. Some of you could be closing out a cycle like with a, um, a person or a job or a situation kind of feels like something that's like open. You know, you know, it's like sometimes, you know, I don't know. It's like, is this closure? I'm not so sure that's what I feel. Maybe for a small percentage of you, it's like you're getting closure for a person from a person. Maybe you've been thinking about getting closure. I don't know. Um, it kind of pop. It kind of pops into my head here. <laughs> um, so if you need to do that, I would do it right. Uh, with the four, uh, Queen of Swords, you have the Justice card. Definitely Justice coming in for you uh, or like a karmic balance. I'm wondering like, you know, if someone broke up with you or, or something like just ask, you know, I feel like it wouldn't hurt if you're still thinking about it to ask, you know, about like whatever happened. Maybe it's just like the time, you know what I mean? It's like sometimes someone breaks up with us and then like later, maybe just a, maybe everybody's had time to process their emotions. They have, you have. And so it's like a better time to ask for closure. So if someone didn't give you closure, but you're still thinking about it, maybe it would be a good time to close out the cycle. That's like for a small percentage of you. And again, I think you're still thinking about whatever it is, go for it. Um, for others, I just feel there's balance. With the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Hermit. Uh, it's time for you to get out in public. Like, you know, <laughs> I, I feel like that's true for everyone. But if you want to be uh, find love, then you're gonna have to get out in public. If you want more money, uh, same thing. Uh, with, the, uh, with the Four of Wands, you have the uh, Star card, which is your card here, Aquarius. You're coming up in a very strong position. This puts you in a position of power and strength. So I feel like there is definitely success coming in for you. Um, I also feel it's a, clearly a time of recovery for you as well. We're going to pull five main themes now. You have this broken ring. It says uh, parting of ways either in romance or business. Literally exactly what I said about divorce and that with the uh, justice, ten of swords, you know, that whole thing there. We were talking about this. So some of you could be going through a divorce separation. You have this wealth card. I think this should be your focus on creating stability in your life. This could be financial stability or it's like the things that you're doing. But again, I would be looking at leverage. Um, you know, like I gave you the audio example. I don't know what you do for a living, obviously, but it's like there's something, like I feel like there's something that you could do that would be that would provide a lot of leverage that would really, really kind of like make you more valuable and, and therefore make you more money. It could be like a certification, like I said. So if you're thinking about like going and getting certified or getting a license for something or, you know, it's like something like that. It could be a tool. Again, if you have a YouTube channel or something like that, it could be like a tool or something that you're investing in. Again, I, I do feel that it would greatly increase your wealth. Uh, you have the shield card. It says you need to defend yourself. Yeah, I'd protect yourself from you know negative people, toxic situations, things like that. Um, also other people's opinions. Uh, you have this older woman. It says dealings with relationships and the older woman. I always clarify these cards. And it says hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. For some of you, I'm getting like this is a parent that's causing a lot of burdens. And so if you have that in your life, maybe you need to just take a break from it or put up some boundaries uh, with a person so that you can you know live a good life. Uh, and finally, you have this peacock. It says, beware of great pride. I would be careful of people who are like cocky at this time as well. But this is a really good reading, Aquarius. I like where it's going. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.